talk to you about your own personal motivation behind this. This was the largest initiative ever committed to a single disease, PEPFAR. And uh, I mean, when people heard it, I know when I heard it in 2003, uh, I thought, will that ever get voted through? Because I, it was just such an enormous, what they call a BHAG, a big, hairy, audacious goal. And uh, from a purely political viewpoint, you weren't going to get a whole lot of votes from that. So what was it that motivated you to do PEPFAR? Well, first of all, uh, I believe in this admonition, this principle, do how much is given, much is required. Yeah, say that uh, <coughs> secondly, uh, I would hope that when it's all said and done, people say, this is, this is a guy who, who showed up to solve problems. And when you have somebody say there's a pandemic that, uh, that you can help and you do nothing about it, then you have frankly disgraced the office. And finally, I was surrounded by people who were pushing hard on this initiative, people I trusted. Condi Rice, Mike Gerson. Uh, when I first got to, was talking to Condi about becoming the National Security Advisor, she said, I want you to make this promise to me that you will focus on Africa. Yeah. I said, okay. And, uh, and then there's Gerson, <laughs> who was very much involved with our policy on, uh, on these issues. And he, I spent a lot of time with him. See, he was the speechwriter. Yeah. And so the speechwriter got to spend a lot of time with the, the speech make Quite a few seats. <laughs> <laughs> It's hard to take words out of this piece and put them in it. <laughs> my only point is I had a group of people around me, people who I trust and people whose hearts I came to admire that helped forge the policy as well. So, I, you know, you said you're going to give awards and all that. I don't deserve an award. People that help make this policy work deserve the award. Um, and then once we got going, uh, you know, Mark Dyball, who's our ambassador, on AIDS, uh, I think you call him coordinator for AIDS, but anyway, I, I like to be able to deal with Mark because I say, Mark, what are we doing? <laughs> are we making progress? And the answer is yes, but if the answer was no, I would say, why not, Mark? And my only point there is, is that uh, we've got a bunch of dedicated folks, once the initiative got going, who are follow-through people. And um, anyway, it's been a fabulous experience working with them. It's been worth the scars. <laughs> <laughs>